joining Great Thaz while he does a World of Tanks replay. Oh boy! Take it away, Great Thaz! Thank you, Mickey. And as Mickey said, this is World of Tanks, and I am Great Thaz. And this is a replay of myself in the Pajetto 35 Mod 46, or betterly known as the Pajetto 46. Um, and this is on Procaroca. This is a tier 10 battle, and here we go. Let's get on in this. Um, oh boy, where are you going, Des? Uh, Mickey, I'm going over here to the hill <clears throat> in attempts to... Um, actually uh, get on the side here and uh, cover it so that no one else actually ends up, you know, getting our flank. And this is a good spot to, excuse me, get to um, and, and hold because you have con uh, shots from above when you're over here onto the uh, tanks in the middle. And it's... Uh, it's very helpful uh, in the long run to be able to control this location. All right. <clears throat> and uh, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, boy! You know it, Great Taz. Now, what's going on here with all the pingy, pingy, pingy? Uh, well, this uh, T95 FV4201 here, um, uh, he wants people to push forward on the edge of this ridge and, and spot. And um, I am repeating pings right back at him, thinking that he was over on the one line, which he's not, one, two line, but he's not. Um, and trying to get them to move because really they need to move. Our 1390 should be over there spotting. He's not really spotting. Uh, and that the one line, he's spotting the middle, which is not spotting the one line. Um, Stuff like that. Oh boy! Shots fired! Yeah, I'm trying to take shots at tanks that are off in the distance that are not in my draw range in hopes that I might actually end up hitting them. But it doesn't always happen. So, you know, it is what it is, and that's what it is. Um, and we have now have tanks here below us, and then another t tank over there, which is actually TD. Um, and we're going to push over here towards the edge. And uh, play spotter, and hopefully that um, our allies that are over here might actually be able to um, hit the targets we spot. Well, that sounds like a great plan, great Taz. Yeah, it's the only plan I had at the time, really, Mickey. Um, uh, because the simple fact is, uh, I I don't want to rush out and get killed. I want to survive the battle. I want I want to win and survive the battle. Um, because you die in a battle, you lose probably, I think it's roughly 25%, maybe, um, yeah, you know, about 25% of, uh, your experience that you could have earned, um, if you would have stayed alive. So, staying alive is a good thing, but, um, you know, Doing damage is where you get the majority of your um, experience, but also in the same side of things. The game's not about just doing damage. Okay, what's it all about? Well, all games you really want to win. Um, and so it's, you know, you, you have that you want to win. So to win, you need to uh, live a while. Um, there's... Another shot into the 430U. I, I, I get some spotting damage, but I don't don't shoot, um, don't hit them. So it is what it is. Uh, they've already got two kills on enemies. Uh, excuse me. I just got up after being on nights, uh, and so I needed to get a video recorded. Um, and here uh, we're working on it. So uh, as you can see, the, the, the T10E4 is moving forward there. Um, so I, I'm still again wondering why our one two line is so hesitant to move forward when they know where the E4 is. That's their biggest gun, their biggest powerhouse. I mean, the Jag Towers, Jag Tigers also, but they're still staying, you know, um, back. All right, here we're going to get some damage. 
right there. Um, 477 damage. So, uh, we're doing good. Oh, wait! That's wonderful, Great Tez! Well, you did not make it up the hill. Why not? Well, um, it's a slippery slope. <laughs> Actually, there's a lot of locations in the maps that have changed over time, like this location right here. I'm still trying to test it. I was still trying to test it. I keep, I don't get to sit and go through all the maps and test out all, all the locations that were broken before um, uh, to when they fix the maps. Because I don't always go that location. Sometimes I don't go a whole direction where there's a broken side for a long time because I don't end up, I don't get to choose what maps I end up on. Um, I get to choose the tanks, and that's basically it. Um, and then there's the ran the matchmaker j matches me up with tanks that my tank can meet tiers and my tanks and my tank can meet and uh, maps that are set for you know some certain maps are set for certain tiers um, that only certain tiers can see and then some maps are set for all tiers can see so there are some maps that I mean when you play a tier one you'll never see you'll never see those maps. There's some maps when you play a tier 10, you'll never see those maps. Um, so, there is all that. Well, and there I just got shot at. I'm not sure if I got shot at, if I was up high enough to actually be shot at or not. Um, because there's only, there's uh, five points uh, on a tank that are um that are spot locations, that locations will be spotted. Um, it's the very center of your hall uh, on the front of the tank. It's um, the very center of uh, your left and right of your tank. Um, and, well, it used to be. I'm pretty sure they've added in a lot more spot locations, but these are the major ones. Uh, the very center of the rear of your hall and the very cent top center of your um, turret, just below, you know, the top, so about the center of the turret. So there's your five major spotting locations. Um, I'm pretty sure Wargaming has added on a few more uh, to add into more realism, um, like maybe the corners, uh, the four corners of the tanks, uh, probably the, the front of the gun mantlet, the rear of the turret, and the two sides of the turrets. Um, that way, if any of those peek around the corner, you get... But the gun barrel is not a spottable location. Wow, that's a lot of information, Great Tez. You know a lot. You know pretty much most of it. Well, actually, Mickey, I've been playing the game um, since uh, closed beta. Um, and that uh, basically was 2010 uh, when I started playing this tank, this game. So I've been playing the game for eight years. Um, been following all the changes and uh, not until you know maybe in the past three years have I actually started to um, go ahead and start uh... Ooh, that's a big shot that was a uh, Jag Tiger ammo rack oh boy what's, uh, I guess that's not good for him is it not really. Uh, it basically means I did 1,100 damage, almost 1,200 damage in one shot. And I'm, I'm kind of figuring that he already had a damaged ammo rack. So, because the Vegetto really does... It's all random number generated anyway, so there's a chance I could have. There's a chance I could not have. Um, so, here we are. We're still trying to um, get through this and, and do what we can. Uh, as you can see here, we're trying to do damage and, uh, kill the enemies. And it's, it's, it's a long, tedious process sometimes. Um, the battles last from anywhere as short. I've seen as short as three minutes a battle will end. Um, just because, uh, ooh, there's another, uh, ammo rack because that's way more damage than my rounds would, well, way more, but that's, easily more damage than my uh, rounds would ever normally do so um, so yeah oh here we got some good shots on the scorpion we're probably gonna take all three of them oh only needed two of them to kill him all right so there we go um, <clears throat> now all we have to do is uh, take out three more tanks uh, and, and this battle will be one uh, we do outnumber them 
Uh, right now, we have six tanks to their three. Uh, so, it's time to push up. Well, that looks like, like what you're doing. I, I, I sure am, Mickey. Um, pushing through these houses. Uh, these are destructible, and uh, so you're not worrying, Mickey. I'm not destroying anyone's homes. Okay, that's good. And here we, here we go. We're going to take some shots into the WZ. Um, and hopefully, maybe we get the kill. We could always... Oop, no, not quite. Um, I'm still looking for about mm, 200 damage. Uh, two, three hundred damage uh, to complete a mission. Um, uh, so we're we're doing really good here, um, as you can see. And uh, I'm trying to wait for my my rounds to reload. And there is the Persian, one of the last two tanks. And then 1390 is the last tank alive. And we're gonna start pushing as we're almost fully. Re oh, well, we're fully reloaded. Okay, Gritas. We're going to go spot that 1390, and you're going to get him. Sure am, Mickey. There he is spotted. Um, I'm going to try to get this shot in. And, ooh, just a nanosecond too late, unfortunately, for us. And that meant that we did not get the, uh, the shot. And uh, we didn't make our mission either, but that's all right. It's not always about that. Sometimes you got to just give a little to get a lot um, and that stuff. Now, we're going to go ahead and move over to Watt Records. Well, what's Watt Records, Great Devs? Well, Watt Records is the website, one of the two websites that you can upload World of Tanks replays, and it gives you basically the stats of the game and how the person did. So I use Watt Records primarily, but I do use Watt Replay sometimes. I just like what Watt Records has to offer over Watt Replays. So here we go. Okay! Now, I got a second class badge. De got Demolition Expert by destroying at least one part of the an ammo rock, which we know that we did too. Uh, Fire for Effect and Bruiser. Didn't get any heroic awards this time. Just because we didn't do anything overly heroic. It, we played a really good game of uh, snipe and shoot. <laughs> and uh, that's how we got the 6,313 um, basic WN8 uh, and all that. Now, my second class badge, that came basically with my 1,141. 1,141 for the Pajetto 46. Uh, and that's, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Pajetto to ace it is like 1,300 experience. So it's not the overall easiest to do. You got to get some heroic medals, do like I did, get some heroic medals in there also. And then, then you'll come out on top. Uh, <clears throat> all right. And as you can see here, uh, ammo wrecked. Oh, it looks like we knocked out the our first shot ammo rack, the Jag Tiger, and then the second round actually destroyed the ammo rack, destroying the tank. Here uh, in the AMX M449, uh, it looks like his ammo rack was already damaged. We damaged his track and destroyed the ammo rack, destroying him in portion. So, And this is why I like what records over watt replays this stuff does not show up in this lower information down here does not show up in watt replays all right so going on to our detail reports we fired 21 shots 13 of them hit 11 of them did pen 3876 and as i said i played the sniper role in this game so 2970 um of my damage was from over 300 meters that's why I said I played the sniper in this game uh, two hits received two penetrated penetrated <laughs> Mickey keep it clean you're a kid's cartoon oh yeah that's right no oh, no my bad <laughs> um, spotted one vehicle we had six damage three of them destroyed we destroyed three of them uh, only got 724 uh, spotting assisted damage. And then we traveled almost 3 kilometers. Uh, came, it is a premium vehicle with a premium account. So we came out with a good, nice chunk of credits. 102,000, almost 103,000. You know, again, premium vehicle. So the repair is low and the ammo supply is low. So we walked out with uh, basically 
89,000 um, credits into the good. Now, uh, we uh, was, you know, earned our 1,771 basic uh, experience. And then because it's a premium vehicle, you get 10% bonus um, for the premium vehicle. So uh, that, that gives 171 more and uh, ends up being 1,882 experience. That is going right into crew training. Oh boy, crew training! That means your crew gets better, right? Yes, Mickey, it does. And uh, that's what premium vehicles are really good for. Cleaning, cleaning up cleaning up your crew. Goodness gracious. <laughs> he said cleaning your crew. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm a little tired. Um, uh, that's what training up your crew, really good for training up your crew is. So, um, With that all being said, ladies and gentlemen, go boy, what are we doing now, Great Test? Well, this is the end of the video, Mickey. I'm going to test my... Uh, subscribers if they like this video then go ahead and give it a thumbs up if they did not like this video i think it deserves it gives it a thumbs down well i give it a two thumbs up great times well unfortunately you can only give it one thumbs up and you can only do it on youtube so you know, that's where you got to do it and uh also ladies and gentlemen if you're not a subscriber go ahead and click the subscription button and uh sticker if you want to get instant notification of new uploads go ahead and click that bell no that bell icon and with that all being said i'm gonna get running oh boy i'm gonna go subscribe right now great does well thank you mickey and i hope you enjoyed my videos too i enjoyed having you here today mickey well, it was a great pleasure myself, Great Tez. Well, I, since we're pretty much done with this one, I'm going to get going and say have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and uh, I am also, too, going to say that uh, this is Great Tez and Mickey Mouse signing off and saying we'll see you in the world of tanks. <laughs>